But some U.S. presidents, including Republicans, keep underestimating him. Today, President George W. Bush, who once famously said he had looked into Putin's eyes and saw his soul, gave a new explanation about him. Did, did you misjudge him earlier, or were you just trying to open the door? I think he changed. And of course, a, a president should open the door and give people a chance, except for the despicable tyrants. Uh, and he was not, at, at that time, he was, uh, it looked like he wanted to be, uh, you know, work with the West. President Bush reflects our entire foreign policy elite in both parties. They continue to believe bad people can be good people if only we'd be nice to them. Putin has been Putin for the entire time he's been around. He was Putin in the KGB. He's been Putin since he started running the country in 1999. If we're going to deal with him, we have to see him for what he really is. <laughs> Thank you. 
popular so the Putin and Bush are coming to Slovenia and it's important we are a small country and maybe the others will get to know us better when they come. The important thing is that we now have an agreement, one that we need a, a new worldwide agreement on climate change, two that at the heart of that should be a substantial reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, three in the process that will then work out what that cut in emissions should be there will be serious consideration given specifically to the goal of halving emissions by 2050. Vladimir and I just had a uh, very constructive dialogue, particularly about missile defense. Vladimir and I just had a very constructive dialogue, in particular, about Противоракетной обороне. He expressed his concerns to me. Он выразил свои озабоченности мне. He is concerned that the missile defense system is uh, not an act that a friend would do. Он его озабоченность в том, что противоракетная система не является актом, который сделал бы друг. He made some interesting suggestions. Он сделал некоторые интересные предложения. As a result of our discussions, we both agreed to have a a strategic dialogue, an opportunity to share ideas and concerns between our State Department, Defense Department, and military people. Значит, у нас есть понимание об общих угрозах. We have an understanding about common threats. И, но есть расхождения. But we have differences. Расхождение в том, какими путями, какими средствами мы можем преодолеть или предотвратить эти угрозы. The difference is ways and means in which we can overcome these threats. Мы внимательно рассмотрели предложение американской стороны. We considered the proposal by the American side very thoroughly. И у нас есть собственные идеи. And we have ideas of of our own. Я их подробно изложил. I have stated these ideas in a thorough way. Значит, первое предложение заключается в том, чтобы использовать арендуемую нами в Азербайджане радиолокационную станцию Габала. The first proposal is to use uh, the radio station uh, rented by us in Azerbaijan, which is entitled Gabala. Я вчера только разговаривал по этому вопросу с президентом Азербайджана. Yesterday uh, I had a conversation on this matter with uh, the president of Azerbaijan. Действующее соглашение с Азербайджаном позволяет нам это делать. The existing agreement with Azerbaijan makes it possible for us to do this. А президент Азербайджана подчеркнул, что он будет только рад, если его страна сможет внести свой вклад в дело обеспечения глобальной безопасности.
I'm grateful to you for your decision to come prior to the summit itself. Today, uh, together with our colleagues, we will have a chance to discuss both bilateral issues and issues of the global agenda. И для нас очень важно сверить часы с вами, представитель Генсовета администрации, по всем этим вопросам. Надеемся на вашу поддержку в ходе этого международного мероприятия. Добро пожаловать. I'm grateful to you for your decision to come prior to the summit itself. У нас будет возможность и сегодня вместе с нашими коллегами обсуждать и двусторонние вопросы и вопросы международного уровня. Today, together with our colleagues, we will have a chance to discuss both bilateral issues and issues of the global agenda. И для нас очень важно сверить часы с вами, представитель Генсовета администрации, по всем этим вопросам. But it is extremely important for us to synchronize our watch with you, Mr. President, in which and with your administration. We hope, as we count, for your support uh, during this international event. Welcome, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Bush, how do you like it here? I really like it. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. We've had a wonderful day. What did you like most here in the castle at Mrs. Bush? Well, I like the print shop, but I like the view the best. So I went to Spain and had to practice my Spanish. Mr. President, what can you say about what's been accomplished so far? You'll say that the press conference was a good deal. 
You meant much longer than was originally planned. Making we did. Here we go. Yep. Lights and thank you. Yep. Mr. Please, thank you. <coughs> We have a unique opportunity to address the true threats of the 21st century together. We have a great moment uh, during our tenures to cast aside the suspicions and doubts that used to uh, plague our nations. And I'm committed to do so. I said in, uh, in uh, Poland, I'll say it again, Russia is not the enemy of the United States. As a matter of fact, after our meeting today, I'm convinced it can be a strong partner and friend, more so than people could imagine. I offered something logic and a hope. Our relationship is larger than just security relationships. It's bigger than uh, figuring out how to deal with the ABM treaty. It's much bigger than that. It deals with a Two leaders who share values. Mr. Arshad Mohammed of Reuters. Что касается проблемы противоракетной обороны, официальная позиция России известна. Я не думаю, что нужно тратить время для того, чтобы еще раз ее здесь озвучивать. Мы полагаем что договор противоракетной обороне 1972 года является краеугольным камнем современной архитектуры международной безопасности. Мы исходим из, из того, что есть элементы, которые нас объединяют с нашими партнерами в Соединенных Штатах, на что мы должны обращать внимание. Это учитывая, что Соединенные Штаты и Российская Федерация, как никто другой, как никакая другая страна мира, много накопили ядерного оружия, оружия массового уничтожения. Поэтому на наших странах лежит и особая ответственность за сохранение всеобщего мира, за поддержание безопасности, за строительство новой архитектуры безопасности в мире. Все это предполагает тесное двустороннее и международное сотрудничество для укрепления основы безопасности в 21 веке. При этом любые односторонние действия могут лишь затруднить решение основных проблем современности. And so you asked, do I trust him? Yeah, I trust him. Do I like everything he says? No. And I suspect he doesn't like everything I say. Such cooperation, I, be, I believe, would result in raising to an entirely new level, level the quality of cooperation between Russia and the United States. По сути, это постепенно будет вести к стратегическому партнерству в области безопасности. And for all practical purposes, this would lead to a gradual development of strategic partnership in the area of security.
revenue interpreters. Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate President Putin for being the only person that caught a fish today. I want to congratulate the President for being the only person that caught a fish. Yeah, just put up. It's a fine catch. Uh, secondly, I welcome you to my family home. And uh, we had a uh, uh, a good a good casual discussion on a variety of issues. Thank you. What can you, uh, President Bush and President Putin, do to stop? Because Hezbollah has been launching rocket attacks out of uh, Lebanon into Israel, and because Hezbollah captured two Israeli soldiers. That's why we have violence. And the best way to stop the violence is for Hezbollah to lay down its arms and to stop attacking. Militant wing of Hamas made decisions. We считаем the of Israel as Вместе с тем, мы исходим из того, что применение силы должно быть сбалансированным. И в любом случае кровопролитие должно прекратиться как можно быстрее. Uh, we talked about uh, our concerns about Iran developing a nuclear weapon or Iran having the capacity to make a nuclear weapon. And we talked about North Korea, and, and the results of our talks are that we agree that we've got to work together to send a common message to both, that there's a better way forward for these leaders. They'll understand the seriousness of our intent. And so we, we spent... Bill, to answer your question, this isn't the first time that we have strategized on how to solve this problem. And yes, we talked about the UN Security Council resolution. And no, I'm not going to tell you the particulars about the conversation. Uh, like, I will tell you, however, that there is common agreement that we need to get... We always talked about the Iranian nuclear problem. I fully understand, however, that there will be a Russian-style democracy. I don't expect uh, uh, Russia to look like the United States. As Vladimir pointedly reminded me last night, we have a different history, different traditions. Нам бы, конечно, не хотелось, чтобы у нас была такая же демократия, как и в Ираке, скажу честно. Just wait. Лучше нас. Никто не знает, как мы можем укреплять собственное государство. Но мы точно знаем, что мы не можем его укреплять, не развивая демократические институты. И мы, конечно же, будем это делать. Но делать это будем, конечно, самостоятельно. Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate President Putin for being the only person that caught a fish today. Uh, we've caught one fish, but that was a team, uh, team oh, effort, team and uh, the minute <laughs> goes to the captain of Very the, thoughtful of, this, of, of the you. <laughs> and uh, we had a uh, more than an interesting idea. It's an inter idea that we're following up on uh, through consultative meetings, which we've started. And as I told you, the, and uh, I, as I told you, the president made a very, uh, I thought, very constructive and bold, uh, uh, strategic uh, move, and that is, uh, why don't we broaden the dialogue and include uh, uh, Europe through NATO? Through the course of our relationship. Uh, there have been times when we've agreed on issues, and there's been times when we haven't agreed on issues. Мы считаем, что в этом случае не будет никакой необходимости размещать ни новые объекты в Европе. Имеется в виду в Чехии и в ударную группировку в Польше. In this case, there would be no need to place any more facilities in New York, in Europe. I mean, the facility in Czech Republic and the missile base in Poland. 
хозяев за приглашение. First of all, I would like to thank the host for their invitation. Do I trust him? Yeah, I trust him. Do I like everything he says? No. And I suspect he doesn't like everything I say. But we're able to say it in a way that uh, uh, shows mutual respect. Mutual, take missile defense. He just laid out a vision. I think it's very sincere. I think it's innovative. I think it's strategic. But as I told Vladimir, I think that the Czech Republic and Poland need to be an integral part of the system. Both bilateral issues and international issues. If this happens, I want to focus your attention on the fact that the relations between our countries will be changed. If this is to happen, I would like to draw your attention to this. The relations between our two countries would be raised to an entirely new level. Are both of us. Okay. And I have come to the conclusion that when Russia and America speaks with, you know, uh, along the same lines, it tends to have an effect. And therefore, I appreciate very much the Russian uh, attitude in the United Nations. Uh, I have been counting on the Russian support to send a clear message to the Iranians, and that support uh, and that message is a strong message. До сих пор нам удавалось работать в рамках Совета Безопасности. Надеюсь, что эта работа будет продолжена. Я не сомневаюсь в этом. So far we have managed to work within uh, the framework of the Security Council and I think we will continue to be successful on this track. And we're going to go continue those relations with a lunch. We have a difference of opinion. But the great thing about our relationship is our relationship is strong enough to endure this difference of opinion. And that's the positive development. We found many areas in which we can cooperate. We've found some areas where we disagree. But nevertheless, our disagreements will not divide us as nations combine to make that, that, that need to combine to make the world more peaceful and more prosperous. У нас цель одна, у России и у США одна цель – достичь безопасности для наших стран и для всего мира. Our objective is a common, both for the United States and for Russia. The objective is to achieve security for our states, for our nations, and for the entire world. Мы разделяем озабоченности президента Соединенных Штатов о том, что мы должны думать о возможных угрозах будущего. We share the concerns of the President of the United States to the effect that we must think of the future threats. And here is a common ground for our further discussions. We, what, what we differ uh, in is that uh, we differ in the ways and means we perceive that are suitable for reaching the same objective. Who usually say that God knows what is to befall a nation, a people. I think it gives me a great pleasure to deal and to work with President Bush, who is a, a person, a man, who does what he says. My name is Gina Howard, and I'm in the eighth grade.
go in in a minute or two. So. Thank you. 
Министр обороны Российской Федерации Сергей Борисович Иванов с российской стороны, государственный секретарь Соединенных Штатов Америки Кандализа Райс с американской стороны подписывает договоренность между правительством и Советским Американским. Сергей Борисович.